Hello everyone, welcome to this video on what is low code development by IntelliPath. With this video, we are basically going to get ourselves introduced to the concept of low code or no code development quickly. It is a newborn technology using which you can create digital products like website or application without doing any kind of coding. But before we dive into what it is and which platform offer this service, make sure to subscribe to our IntelliPath YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to never miss any update coming from our end. So let us first discover what all we'll be covering through this video. We'll begin this video by understanding what exactly low code development is. Then what we'll do is we'll understand the features of low code development. We'll look into low code development platforms, advantages and disadvantages of low code development, as well as what is the future scope that is there for low code development. Now let us first try to comprehend the notion of low code development. So guys, let's imagine that this person named Alex over here is running a coffee business and he wants to grow his business by going online. But in order to do so, he requires a sound web or software product with a very intuitive design and user experience. However, this Alex is not so good at technology and he has a very stringent budget. So how he could take his business online without spending a lot of money on hiring a software development organization for developing his product. So he started doing his research and then stumbled upon a term known as low code development. Now this low code development technology has the power to solve Alex's problem within just a day's time. Let us try to comprehend what it is and how it solves the problem. So guys, low code development is an approach to software development where you can design apps from no to very minimal amount of coding skills. It's like you'll have the low code development platform to build your application and you just have to drag and drop functionalities that you want for your product and the code for the same will be developed automatically in the background. So unlike traditional software development, you actually don't have to write code, develop logic to build app. Instead, you have to decide functionalities, look and fill off your end product and low code will take care of the rest. By putting low code platform to use, Alex can design the software product on his own without having any coding background. Now imagine how helpful this technology is to the people who actually have small scale business and want to go online. They can create their applications with just drag and drop and pre-built components. I hope now we understand what exactly this technology is all about. Moving forward, let's try to find out features and benefits of low code development. The very first feature that I have on my list is visual modeling. With this powerful feature, any person would be able to develop the basic software application to take their business online. You know, even for developers, this would ease out the software development process. They can use this tool to get the redundant work done and focus more on enhancing the complex logics and features of their softwares. Developers can use this tech to build and deliver apps faster. And at the same time, it will also help non-tech people to participate in development. Another feature is reusable components. So guys, as we discussed earlier itself, low code will let you develop applications across platforms with pre-configured modules, logic templates, connectors, and more. This proves to be a fast track development with greater efficiency. Also, these tools are pre-tested, so you don't need to worry about performance and security of them. Apart from this, it has a feature of data integration. So basically guys, low code development tools will help you in securely integrating data and logic from any source, system or service, which includes your core legacy systems. It will help you build apps using pre-configured APIs and connectors and will empower your skill developers to build custom integrations without spending lot of time on the work. Now, moving forward, let us try to find out low code development platforms. So guys, basically there are three famous platforms, Salesforce, Shopify and Bubble. 
First of all, let's talk about Shopify. So guys, Shopify is an e-commerce platform that allows individuals and businesses to create and manage online stores. It provides user-friendly interface, enabling users to design their storefronts, add products, and handle transactions. Shopify offers a range of customizable templates, making it accessible for those without extensive web development skills. Now, the another tool that we have is Bubble. So, Bubble is a visual web development platform that helps users to create web applications without extensive coding knowledge. Again, it utilizes a no-code approach that allows individuals to design and build interactive websites through a visual interface. Users simply have to drag and drop functionality to add elements, define workflows, and integrate data sources without writing any sort of traditional program. Bubble is known for its accessibility enabling both non-technical users and experienced developers to prototype, launch, and iterate web applications efficiently. Now the third and most famous tool that you must have heard about is Salesforce. So Salesforce is considered as a low-code development platform. It provides a robust low-code environment that allows users to design, customize, and deploy application with minimal traditional coding. This platform again offers a visual development tools, drag and drop components, and pre-built templates, which makes it accessible for individuals with varying levels of technical expertise. I mean, towards the base, the features of low-code development are going to remain same, whichever platform you choose. One thing though I would like to mention about Salesforce is that its low-code capabilities contribute to its popularity for a rapidly developing and deploying custom solutions for customer relationship management, that is CRM. Sales, marketing, and other business processes use this tool effectively to maintain their customer relationship. Now we'll move ahead and try to understand advantages and disadvantages of low-code development. So first of all, let's take a look at advantages. So the very first advantage is that the non-programmers can develop applications using drag and drop options. So with this software, people don't actually have to learn programming to take their applications or take their business online. Now the another benefit is low-code platforms enable quick creation of applications, reducing time to market. I mean, we saw Alex's example. Alex wanted to scale his business quite quickly and he did not have a stringent budget at the same time. So again, he was able to develop application in day's time. So that is how quickly low-code development can help you create the product. Now, another benefit is that it will require very minimal coding and will save a lot of cost when it comes to software development processes. Now, moving forward, let us look into some of the disadvantages that are there for low-code development. I mean, of course, every technology has some sort of disadvantages. With every advent, there is some negative pointer. So let us try to understand those negative pointers in case of low-code development. So the very first disadvantage of low-code development is that some low-code platforms might face limitations when it comes to developing applications with highly specialized or complex requirements. What that means is whenever you'll be developing very complex logics, low-code development platforms won't be able to help you with that. Now, the another disadvantage that is there is when an application becomes complex, particularly in the context of larger enterprises, scalability issues may also arise. So scalability refers to the ability of system to handle an increasing workload or a growing number of users effectively. And this could get impacted when we talk about large MNCs or large scale companies where millions of customers will be visiting websites or applications in days time. So in those cases, there is always a possibility of crash when it comes to low code developed platforms. Now moving forward, we'll look into the future scope of low code development. So according to Gartner, by 2025, 70% of apps will be built using no-code or low-code technology. Also, according to Mendix, 70% of users with no development experience learn low-code in just the period of one month. Also, according to 451 research, 
low code platforms can reduce development time by 50 to 90 percent now looking into these three stats you can understand how revolutionary this technology could be for small scale businesses and small scale software projects so definitely if you are interested in low code development and if you want to become a low code developer definitely learning this tech stack will be beneficial for your future so i hope you guys are clear with what local development is and how the future scope for it looks like. That's all we have for this video. I hope this video was helpful for all of you guys out there. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment box below and our experts will answer them for you. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers a full stack developer course which enable you to learn tech stack from both front end and back end. Through this course, you will gain hands on experience with the skills and technologies such as SQL, Java, data structure, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Node.js and React under the guidance of industrial professionals. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonial on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your careers to new height. So visit the course page link given in the description and take the first step towards a career growth with the full stack developer course.